Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. So we have this new armor system in Hearthstone Battlegrounds, and it is based on Blizzard's list of how good the heroes are. And with any of these lists, I'm not going to say that they're like flawed, but there is more to these lists and the numbers that Blizzard sees than meets the eye. And uh, a lot of these have to do with how people play the game. Um, heroes on the Blizzard's list are basically ranked on the average performance. Um, for example, one of the heroes that is top tier, literally the best heroes in the game, you cannot even get armor on this list of heroes, included among them is Dancing Daryl. Now, if we go through third-party websites and see the stats of people actually playing some of these heroes, for example, Dancing Daryl. While Dancing Daryl is indeed, on average, in terms of his average placement at the end of the game, extremely good. One of the best heroes in the game. It makes sense, right? Well, there is a little bit of a detail. Dancing Daryl actually gets first roughly 5% of the time, which is not one of the worst performing statistics for like the best heroes in the game. It is one of the worst first place percentages for any hero is horrible. Daryl is horrible at winning games, but he's so good at getting like second and third and fourth place that he's one of the best heroes in the game. So a player like me, where my goal is to just win it. I want it all. I want to I wanna go big time, right? I'm not picking Daryl. Now Daryl doesn't even start with armor? Do you know how many Daryl highlights you're going to see on this channel in the next, you know, few weeks or months? This many. I'm not picking that shit. So, you know, people have different goals. That's one aspect of these tier lists and how you may interpret them differently versus how Blizzard interprets them. The other aspect is um, a lot of the stats that Blizzard and Honestly, a lot of these third-party websites have uh, come with the overall bulk of minion types mixed in. And for some heroes, this doesn't really matter too much, but for some other heroes, it matters a lot. So, for example, if you're playing, like, I don't know, Maleficent Mana Storm, which you basically always play mechs, you're not going to have many skewed results because, well, she doesn't show up if you don't have mechs. And you basically always play mechs. Same thing like you said with dragons. You're not going to yeah, it's, it's obvious, so it's pretty consistent. But for some other heroes, and one that really comes to mind is Curator. So Curator, according to Blizzard stats, is one of the shittiest heroes in the game. And honestly, on average, yeah, it probably is. But I play Curator quite a bit, but there is a certain criteria for me to play Curator. I play Curator if both mechs and Murlocs are in the game, and usually he's still only pretty good then, but if dragons are also part of the minion pool, I'm in. Because I can keep pushing stats on it, I can give the Amalgam Poisonous Divine Shield, and I can include them in a dragon build, so I have like that sweet late game finish if I need it. And all that comes together to whenever I actually end up playing Curator, I do really well with Curator. Well now Curator has like up to like eight or nine armor or some shit. And that's a big difference because if I see Curator with like eight armor and he fits that minion typing criteria, Curator is a fantastic hero to pick. So that kind of sets the framework. I know I'm rambling on right now, but there is a lot to think about with this new mechanic. And short form for this particular video, some heroes, it's a little bit more simple. Some heroes are just a lot better. And I think maybe Blizzard did make a little bit of an error on this one because a hero like Reno Jackson, if he has just a little bit more time to get a build going, it can really explode. Today, Reno is, today's like the first day that I actually, you know, play this new patch. Um, I played Reno a lot, a lot, and I did really well with him most of the time that I played him. So, enjoy the video. I feel like Reno with six armor is really nuts. What adventure are you off to? Okay. 
him. Buckle up, because here we go. That battle belongs to you. Sure. Armor should help slow down games, yes. There's no stopping you. But it's during combat. Sometimes you gotta learn how to walk before you can fly. I guess if it's during combat and it's destroyed, it comes back. You don't lose the minion, right? I guess that's not so bad. Alright. Excuse me. Marvelous work! Belongs to you. Mm -mm. There's no Diablo on this one, I guess. Quick recap of updates. Uh, Heroes got armor. They buffed Quillbar and uh, Pirates and nerfed mechs. Sell and level? Nah, not this time. The skies belong to you. Transplant? No, I'm not going to do that. Just go bald? Oh, uh, yeah, basically. That's the plan. That was some of the best flying I've seen in a long time. Job. Fine, I won't YOLO too hard, I guess. Yeah, I gotta take triple options. Don't worry. Yeah, I think I will just waste the gold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like acid. Oh, okay. That was some of the best flying I've seen in a long... Okay, yeah, this is pretty easy. Strong arm change? I'm not sure what that is. That battle belongs to you. Okay. I'm gonna spend a turn just acquiring some cards. Why? Because this is a six drop now. Why not just roll Murlocs? Because this is a six drop. What? I don't. I don't think you guys understand. This is this is a really really good card. The skies belong to you. Th that literally costs zero gold and gives me a six drop. That is good. Take space though. Well, I'm not playing beasts, so we're gonna get the space. That battle belongs 
you. So many selfless. All right, vegan grade. Let's go. Don't forget to armor up this round. That was some of the best flying I've seen in a long. I put the patch on on Twitter. You guys can just see it there if you need. Fucking snades, dude. How many times did he use that hero power? What the fuck was that? Oh, I guess I triggered every single hero power. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not trying to go fucking Scallywag build. I have a triple Bran with a... This guy. I'm trying to get any kind of Murlocs with battle cries. It's been like three turns of non-stop rolling and triples. And I've not gotten one. Swolfin. Swolfin uh, doesn't actually have a battle cry without other Murlocs, if you think about it. So, uh, no, I did not miss that one. I'm like pretty fucked. It's turn 10. I don't know. There's there's still some chance for me to come back because the scaling I have is like unbelievable, but... This is rough. Oh. 
another recruit just for you. I think I'll just hold on to that. Okay, that's what I was waiting for, basically. That's what I was waiting for. That escalated quickly. Yeah. I had zero Murloc last turn. Now I have a few. And that's how it's done. Great job. Forty one health is a lot. Freeze for taunt. Why do I need taunt? Protect Bran. I think this is fine. That was some of the best flying I've seen in a long He's trying to play like Death Rattle scam build, so yeah, he's pretty weak. Victory! I'm also going for more Amalgadons. Hey, there's one. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna actually not buy it. The cat play? No, that's fine. The skies belong to you. Yeah, poison will make quick work of those. Not much to worry about there. Sleepy Lego. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, I guess he is on six, so maybe maybe I'll lead with Bran there. This didn't get a death rattle, so the uh, reborn is really good. But I would like to give it taunt actually. The skies belong to you. Hard game. 